Recording has started. Ani buju wapshke sinikwe indigenous cause segan on don jaba flowering the da den jabam kak makana menacing mshike and dodem ojibwe nishnabe kwe and dao. Um, good afternoon. My name is Colleen Medicine, and I'm here with the Sioux Tribe Language and Cultural Department. And today, our language team is going to present our 14th um, an, a virtual Nishina Bemo and lesson. And today's lesson is going to be on greetings and questions. So we're joined today by all four of our instructors, and so I'm going to turn it over to them. They'll um, each give their introduction, and then we'll get right into the content. Miigwech. Uh, Intam Susan. Nahao, Ani Kenwea. Bedabanakwe Indigenakaz, Minwa Susan, Jaganaj Nozwin. Bauting and Donjaba, Minwa Bauting and Dada. Mayingan and Dodem, Minwa Bauting Nishna Bek de Bendakwas. Nahao, Paul Gintam. Nahao, Ani Bojo, Boblando Indigenakaz, Mayingan and Dodem. Nishnabe no swin, Bateng, Donjaba, Scandia, and then da Gezen, do dem. I'm Paul Blondo. I'm Sioux tribe. I live in Scandia, Michigan, and uh, my native name is Maingan. My do dem is Magize. Miigwech. Indam Shirley. Ani kanawoya. Shirley Rakley in Dishnakas. Awukumakang Manitoulin Island, Donjaba. Wawashkesh, Dodem. Min Madash Kibi, Kwe, Donishnabe, Noswe. I'm Shirley Rakley. I'm from Manitoulin Island, Wukumakang. But I live here in Sault Ste. Marie. And my clan is deer, and my Anishinaabe uh, knows when is spring uh, water. Nahal kita sisa. Nin minwa, nanin bojo, igdangwa sa nin, jibwe minwa jagana shi and dao, ji jokando dam bao ting and donjba, Cecil Pavlot and Dijnakaz. My name is Cecil Pavlot, I am Crane Clan. From Bauting, our word for Sault Ste. Marie, place of the rapids. Nahao, much da da. Nahao, miigwech siso. Well, today we're going to talk about greetings. And you just heard the greetings from four of us. And um, every one of us introduced ourselves with our name. So, um, Let's see, we'll wait till slide number one comes up here for a minute. Um, and the first thing that we might say is Ani or Anin. There we go. Um, you know, um, some people would say Ani and some people would say Ani with an N on the end of it, Anin. Both of them are just fine. They mean to say hi. Like, um, Hello there, dude. You know, it's just kind of a casual greeting, not the formal greeting, bojo. So, Ani, Susan, Indigenakaz. Indigenakaz. And uh, that means, hi, I'm Susan. Ani, Ejinakazian. Notice that what we're asking a question like that, we have a, um, uh, a question that says, uh, what are you called? Uh, in fact, Jinakaz means to be called something. Anish Ejnakazian. One of our um, department members, um, I asked her if it was okay uh, to say it. Her name is Amanda, but she doesn't really want to be called Amanda. Her name is Amanda, but she is called Gray. And uh, that is her preference. And um, um, we um, have a number of people in our tribe who are called by a nickname. It's that's they're always they're called that way, even though their real name, their actual formal name is something else. Anish Ejnakazian. Anish Ejnakazian. Aha, let's look at another slide. So um, if my name was Sarah, then I wouldn't say Susan Indigenakaz. I'd say Sarah Indigenakaz. 
Notice how Ndijnikaz is, say it so, sliding that together. Nda means I, Jinikaz is am called. Ndijnikaz, it sounds all like one word. Sarah Ndijnikaz. Um, so I'm, if I, I might introduce myself and say, Susan Ndijnikaz, Anish Ejnikazian, what's your name? And Sarah might answer, Sarah Ndijnikaz. And then I might say to Sarah, Anish Ejnikazid Wakwe. Notice what happened? Ejnikaz Yin for you, where is your name? Becomes Ejnikazid, which is that person's name. Anish Ejnikazid Wakwe. Ejnikazid by itself doesn't have any, it, there's no he or she in our name, in our language. And so Wakwe means that woman or that, that lady. Uh, female. Anish Ejnikaze Wakwe. What is that one called, that woman? Um, and then um, Sarah might say to me, Melissa Shinkaza. That's that third person said Ndijnikaz. Uh, if that third person, her, this, her name is Melissa, that Melissa Shinkaza. Um, <clears throat> all right, so she is called Melissa. She's Melissa. All right, so let's do another slide. And there's gonna be a lot of repetition. Okay, so let's look, I'm, I'm going to invite you to sing along on this song. The, the melody is easy. Um, but let's look at the words first. Susan and Dijnikaz, because it's a song, I'm gonna repeat that, Susan and Dijnikaz. Anish Ejnikazian, what's your name? And Sarah answered, I'm now, I guess I must be asking Sarah because Sarah answers me. Sarah Ndijnikaz, Sarah Ndijnikaz, Anish Ejnikaz Wakwe. Who is that lady over there? What's her name? What's she called? And then um, I, uh, and then, uh, I answer, or if, depending on how the song you interpret it, Melissa Ejnikaza, Melissa Ejnikaza, that's Melissa. Melissa Ejnikaza Wakwe. That lady is called Melissa. All right. So um, this is the, the melody of how that goes. And I'm going to sing it for you. And then you're going to play this video over and over until you have it totally memorized. And then you'll be able to always greet somebody like this. All right. Susan Indijnikas, Susan Indijnikas, Anish Ejnikasian, Sarah Indijnikas, Sarah Indijnikas, Anish Ejnikazad, Wakwe, Melissa Jinkaza, Melissa Jinkaza, Melissa Jinkaza, Wakwe. Oh. All right, play it over and over. I know you really want to hear it again and again, but I'll tell you what, one of the secrets for um, learning. Uh, things and helping it stick in your mind is to make up a little song for it. Ergo, we have a song. Oh, Paul, Gintam. Oh, uh, now we'll look at uh, I am from somewhere. Ba Tang, Sault Ste. Marie. Ba Tang, Don Jaba. Don Jaba, I am from. That place, Ba Teng Ndon Jaba. Ba Teng Ndon Jaba. Zizibakot Minising Ndon Jaba. Sugar Island. Zizibakot Minising Ndon Jaba. Oh, you have Sugar Island. Sugar is Zizibakot. Minis is an island. You're at the island. Or coming from there, um, so you would say, "Zizibakot minising ndon jaba," or the word for Sault Saint Marie, "ba tang," "ba tang ndon jaba." Jaba is our base word. Um, where where are you from? Jaba. Uh, okay, next slide. Apish and Jabayan. Where are you from? Apish and Jabayan. And um, compare this with the other question form. Asian Kazin. 
um, e is present tense, and yin, you. Apish, where? Apish, in Jaba yin. Where are you from? Uh, next slide. Abish Steve in Jabat. Uh, you can compare that with Ejnikazat. It's third person. You're asking about this other person. Where is Steve from? Abish Steve in Jabat. Uh -huh. Next. Rimley, Steve, and Jabba. Steve is from Brimley. And Jabba is our base word, third person, come from or be from a certain place. And Jabba. Brimley, Steve, and Jabba. Brimley, Steve, and Jabba. Uh huh. Uh, King Tom Shirley Miigwech A lot of dead air. I'll be Shirley. The how, honey? Shirley. Wawash kish do them. So we talked about earlier ni enjbat desh na So now we're talking about do them. Wawash kish do them. Deer is my clan. So there's more than one clan. Like somebody might have uh, a wolf, a bird, nishi, you know, do de muck. If I use my mom, my mom is nime, that's sturgeon. My dad is wawashkesh, deer. If I would use both of them, I said do de muck. More than one. Do them is special. Wawash cash. Do them. Uh huh. Next slide. Uh huh. Me this one duck. Do uh do them. More than one. Do them muck. So wawash cash. Do them. Dear wawash cash. Do them. Jajak do them. Jajak do them. That's crane. Jajak is crane. Gigon do them. Gigon do them. So that's a fish. Gigon. Like I said earlier, nime, it's it's a sturgeon. So my mom was a, a fish clan, but it's a sturgeon clan. So gigon is any fish. Do them. Uh -huh. There's some more of these these uh do them, the clans. Mung Mung Loon Mung Do them Mung Do them Magin Benishi Do them. Again, Benishi is a bird, but if you uh wanna say uh like say um pitch or that's a, a, a bird. So Benishi is like any bird. Wabgushish do them. Wabgushish do them. Martin. My ingun do them. My ingun do them. That's uh, a wolf. My ingun. Uh huh. So one ish do them. One ish do them. What is your clan? One ish do them. So in the clan that do them. You can get it from your family, like your dad might be a bear, Magen, your mom might be a uh, Abneshi, or like I said, 
my dad was Wawash Kish, a deer. My mom was Nime Sturgeon Fish Clan. Or you can go see Na Jiskinene. That's a traditional healer. Jiskinene. You can see one of the traditional healers and you'll be able to find your totem from there. Nahal Kitam Sisa. Anin Minoa. Bawating in the da. Bawating in the da. I live in Sault Ste. Marie. Gandia in the da. Gandia in the da. I live in Scandia. Michigan in the da. Michigan in the da. I live in Michigan. So in the da, where you're currently living. Michigan gedida na. Michigan gedida na. Do you live in Michigan? Again, this uh, na on the end is that question marker making it this the statement a question. Michigan in the da na. Do you live in Michigan? Daganash a king gedida na. Daganash a king gedida na. Do you live in Canada? So that Jagannath is um, the word that we use for Englishmen. And English uh, or England used to be the dominant society in Canada before Canada became its own country. That's why we call it Jagannath a king. Jamokman a king, David da. Jamokman a king, David da. And so that's a statement. David lives in the United States. Again, Mokmana King basically means the land of the long, long knives. So big knife country, a king. So that had to do with the cavalry and the long knives that they used to carry. So Chimokmana King David Da. David lives in the United States. <clears throat> and just to take it a, a little further, um, there are certain letters that we don't have in the Ojibwe language, uh, and V being one of those. So there's no way for us to to pronounce it with that V. So we change it to David instead of David, because that V does not exist in our language. Next slide. Anishinaabe Nene in Dao. Anishinaabe Nene. In Dao, I am a Anishinaabe man. Anishinaabe kwa in Dao. Anishinaabe kwa in Dao. I am a Anishinaabe woman. Gitchenendum bangi Anishinaabe awi an. Gitchenendum bangi Anishinaabe awi an. And this is um, simply stating that you're happy, proud. To be a little bit Anishinaabe. So maybe um, many of us, including myself, were mixed blood and um, we may not have as much uh, Anishinaabe blood as others, and so they're still proud to be Anishinaabe, even so. So, Gitchenendam, Bungi, Anishinaabe, all we on. Happy, proud, I am a little bit Anishinaabe. Next slide, please. Anishinaabe, it's uh, our word for ourselves, meaning Native American. It covers um, most of the Algonquin-speaking uh, nations, Anishinaabe, Anishinaabe, Anishinaabe is one. Anishinaabe is the plural form of Anishinaabe, so more than one Native Americans, Anishinaabe. Boating Anishinaabe. Sioux tribe, the Native Americans at Sioux, Bauting, our word for Sioux St. Marie, both sides of the river, whether that be U.S. or Canada, and its place of the rapids, and Bauting, Anishinaabek, Sioux tribe, Native Americans of the Sioux. Next slide, please. Miigwech Bazindamuk, thanks for listening. 
Pama pi kena goya. Pama pi kena goya. Pama pi kena goya. Mi 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 goya.